there was once a man who did not read because some sentences had the power to provoke real things he did not know how to control. It would take him a long time, sometimes days, to convince himself that what he read was not real and to return to a time in his head before he'd imagined it. For instance, when he read, death is not death, it is merely transformation into the pure vibration of something higher than matter of the body. He instantly saw dead people, felt spirit floating in space, and he knew with complete certainty that he'd always believed this. It had gotten to such a point that he kept his eyes down whenever he was not in the safety of his own home because he was afraid that some clever advertising would control him. One night, unable to sleep, and in a weird mix of rapture and self-confidence, he wrote down a list of things to remember, things he might forget when the universe wasn't speaking so clearly. You are God, it said. You can do anything you want. No one can stop you. Nobody wants to. Everybody wants to help you create and to celebrate life with you. He left the house dreaming. Like youth on ecstasy for the first time, his eyes were open in a way that assured him, you can open your eyes for the first time many times, as many times as you like, perhaps. His being apprehended the world as if it would be here forever. His head, by some force, tilted at a slight angle, and his eyes would not close, even had he wanted them to. Why would any eyes ever close, he wondered, but for death? The trees had never contained such personality. The bark, the leaves, such definition. Sidewalk told him stories of childhood. As he put one beautiful shoe in front of the other, he could feel the ground beneath him, not against, but for him. This man, each man, of such vast and unknowable privilege, he was on the verge of skipping. He kept walking. He did not want to skip this feeling. It escaped him, perhaps for the first time, that his neighborhood was in rapid transition. He saw the group ahead, but caution was not in his heart. He was not seeing as he normally does. When he came upon them, he stopped, surprised. He'd forgotten them in the 15 or so steps it took to pass beneath the massively wise oak tree. He stared at the strangers. His eyes were speaking, but not being heard. They looked back at him, quiet, strangely inquisitive for such ragged appearance. He was out of context. He looked at them and spoke as if he just realized this. It was the reason, after all, that he was in such a weird state. I am God. I can do whatever I want. No one can stop me. God gets bruises, God bleeds, God dies. He stopped reading again. He goes to bed at a certain time every night now, 
so as not to write things that might make his days more dangerous. All beauty is imagined, anyway. Thanks for coming tonight, you guys.